All right, let me see if I can run through one of these problems with you. It says that Ethan writes one six pages in one twelfth of a minute. How much time does it take him to write a full page? So we really know right now that in one twelfth of a minute, he can write a six of a page. Only we're not worried about him writing a six of a page we really want to know how much time it takes them to write one page. Now remember, we're dealing with unit rates here. In order for us to go from 1 6 to 1, we're going to have to multiply by 6. 1 6 times 6 is equal to 1. And I can do that over here for you. 1 6 times 6, you remember from last year when you multiply fractions to multiply the denominators and the numerators, I can write 6 is 6 over 1. This turns out to be 1 times 6 is 6. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 over 6 is 1. So 1 6 times 6 is 1. But whatever you do the top, you have to do the bottom. So when I do 1 12th times 6, or 6 over 1, I get 6 over 12, which gives me 1 half. So 1 12th of a minute times six is going to be one half of a minute. How much does it take him to write a full page? It takes him a half minute for one full page and this is our unit rate. A half minute a page or 30 seconds a page. With these problems just make sure you set it up initially right. For instance, how much time will it take him to fill the bottle? So you want to know in your denominator how much time for one bottle. So you need to figure out how many minutes is it going to take to fill one bottle. Well, before you can figure out the unit rate, you have to take what you already know, one-sixth of a minute, put it over one-third of a bottle, and now you have to figure out what to multiply the top and the bottom by so that one-third is one, and then whatever you choose here to do that with, you have to choose the same number on top and then you'll get the minutes it takes to fill a full bottle. If you have any other questions, email me. Thanks.